Hey Pisces, this is Moon Pai doing your love reading for April 2020. This reading is for Pisces Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Okay, so let's get started. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, the link's below. We'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what the energy is for you, Pisces. Okay, ooh, you have the Ace of Cups, so something new here, a gift of new love beginning for you. And what is crossing this? King of Wands. Okay, Pisces, some of you might be having like a new opportunity with a fire sign in April. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, okay? Um, this person seems to be like coming into your life um, as a new blessing, as a gift from above this person's presence in your life. Okay. Um, and you know, I know some of you are wondering is someone from the past. I mean, it could be, they could be coming forward in a new and different way, but you'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Um, so you have the five of wands driving the reading here. Okay. So a little bit of defensive energy, um, with you, you, might be just staying in place. You're not running from anything. I don't see you running. I feel like you are just standing your guard. You're being a bit guarded, okay? Um, perhaps with someone that comes forward. Seven of Wands in the past, yeah. So you're, you're a little less guarded than you were um, in the past, which is good. You're reducing, maybe your healing and your heart's opening up a little bit. Seven of Wands in, in the past is definitely defensive energy. The Five of Wands, um, that is an element of having a bit of conflict, um, but it's not too bad, okay? It's kind of like you're lightening up a little bit about something, and you might be lightening up in regard to somebody coming forward, um, because the Ace of Cups is here, because you feel that this is like a meant to be situation. This feels very new to me, Pisces. It feels very much like a new situation, a new love. Okay, Nine of Wands. Look at all this wand energy here. <laughs> wow, surrounding this. Okay, surrounding this love. So the nine of wands is here. And that tells me like your headspace is basically like, just be careful. Keep your, your head is like, you're kind of like your head's telling you, you know, let me just strategize. Let me keep my boundaries up. Let me just kind of, you know, be cautious. Take a step back, not rush into anything. The five of wands is driving you to just... You need to lighten up a little bit, not be too, too, you know, so you're kind of like back and forth a lot from how you were in the past, how you are now. And this is like a little bit of confusion happening when this person comes in with this new love offer, because you're kind of like, what do I do? Do I just completely block it? Or do I just lighten up a little bit? Or do I just stay on the defense? Like you're kind of like not sure um, for some reason something keeps you a little bit cautious about moving forward with this King of Wands. Okay, this King of Wands is very different than the way you are. This person is very charismatic, and very creative, and action oriented and busy, busy and very alpha has an alpha nature, male or female, um, is a go getter is fearless. It's the lion you know, the king of beasts here, this king of wands. Um, and, you know, even if you are an extrovert type of a Piscean, this person's way more extroverted than you. Okay, um, definitely a go getter. And if they aren't showing that on the outside, you could just tell it by their perseverance and their discipline within. Now, what's the new next, like the next few, there's your card, the hangman in the near future here. You just kind of, I see what you do. You, you overstress yourself a little bit. Moving forward though, you just kind of like, whatever will be, will be. You just let it go, which is very good for you. Um, because I think that it's not that you're thinking too much. It's just that your actions 
are kind of all over the place. You know, your actions are, you know, just chill out, just banter back and forth. And then your a actions are put my guard up, not let this person in. Um, so, you know, as I was saying, you did kind of reduce from the seven of wands to the five where you lightened up a little bit, but then you go back to the nine. So you're kind of like hovering somewhere between the five and the nine. <laughs> and, the, you know, the eight of wands not showing up here is a card about moving forward. Cupid's arrows, that's love. The six of wands not showing up here is a card about victory. So you're some of you are hesitating with a new love offer that comes in in April. <laughs> Some of you are hesitating. There might be a control issue here as well. Uh, trying to control yourself or just it comes out of nowhere is how I feel. I feel like you don't expect this, this love offer that comes in. You might have been holding on to someone else from your past and maybe you were just trying to keep something from your past alive and it just wasn't breathing and you know now you've got this new love and it's like oh wait I don't know if I'm ready for this do I want this you know yeah you've got your guard up here you're letting you know you're gonna chill out and let things go you might have an air sign that connects with you going forward because uh, you might stop you know fighting for someone from your past and they might be coming forward you know why'd you leave why'd you let go what, what's going on what's happening with you um, and this also might be like you getting truthful with yourself and saying I just really need to chill out with the hangman here and just see it from maybe a different point of view right and not get so wrapped up in like one way thinking so your advice here you have the ten of swords yeah surrender that's your advice let something go surrender to this new offer this new love coming in for you in april okay admit defeat something from the past uh, or something along the lines just admit the defeat stop fighting just let go embrace allow this love to come in all right the advice or the person you're connecting with the four of swords okay so the queen of pentacles so this person they're kind of like um this is earth energy here this person may also be ending a connection with um someone that they have been involved with okay they're not speaking with them anymore um they're or their their person that they were connected with virgo taurus capricorn is not speaking to them anymore either or there's just this element of withdrawal um i don't feel like this is your person i like this place is your person, but I feel like they they were either married or in a relationship or connected with an earth sign. And that's basically like, it's either there's a cutoff, they're taking a break, they're on a break, um, or they broke up, <laughs> that kind of thing going on, coming forward. So as far as somebody new coming forward, um, you know, there's... You know, honestly, for some of you, the person that's coming forward might be a widow. They could be a recent widower, or they just, you know, and this doesn't necessarily mean it might just be happening in May, or it could be moving forward, but this is somebody who has lost their partner, okay, whether it be by divorce or, you know, being a widow or something along those lines. Okay. Um, they may have also lost um, a sister or a, a female figure in their life. Okay. Um, so let's see what your hopes and wishes are, Pisces. Okay. Queen of Wands. Yeah. You do. <laughs> I'm telling your secrets to the world here on YouTube. Queen of Wands is the partner to the King of Wands. So you want that partnership. You want to be the, you know, the equality in the partnership. That's what you want. And I feel like you will be wanting that. I know you're listening to this. It doesn't make sense. But when you, when this king of wands comes into your life, um, I, this king or queen, it doesn't matter. When this person comes into your life, um, you will be uh, wanting to be partnered up with them. You will. Okay. Um, 
something about them that because it it's not even something about them it's more along the lines of the, this is a a gift of love of grace that's being given to you that's coming down from above um this is a partnership that works the king and the queen of wands that's a working partnership so let's see the outcome for this reading okay queen of cups interesting and the Six of Wands, there you go. That's you. What are you doing here? You know, pouring out your emotions. Pouring out your emotions, not keeping them in anymore. And letting go of any past emotions that you still had in your cup for somebody else. And the Six of Wands, that's victory. And that's celebration. You know, you're going to get this love thing coming in. You're, you're going to meet your person. This is how I feel what's happening here. Um, I, I just feel they're coming in. It's it, it, They're coming in in April, coming forward. Um, you know, if you want it, you can have victory with this person when you let go of someone from the past. I know it sounds so cliche, but it feels to me what's most important is your advice is to surrender and let go something from the past. And if you can't fully let go because you don't know if you'll have anyone to uh, let go let go of it to, um, then just redirect your energy. Okay, just redirect your energy. Um, you don't have to end something fully with someone, but start opening your other. Start opening your eyes a bit more. See what else is out there. Because I feel like you're getting some type of love gift coming in now. Let's take a look and see what your Romance Angels love message is going forward. Okay, you have trust. Situation is calling for you to have faith, Pisces. So you can. All right. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And, yep, this person coming forward is your twin flame. I mean, what more can I say, Pisces? Your reading is probably the most beautiful one I've done so far. So um, I think you get the gist of the message. I hope that you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the weekly readings, Sundays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, for the weekly and the weekend collective readings. You can also get a personal reading from me. As I said, description box has all of that information. I hope that you are well and healthy mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.